Okay, thank you. Uh, now we will go to uh, the first uh, live session. The chairman of this session uh, will be Laszlo Sacco, that is uh, with me for a long time uh, in the board of the EGUS. And then there will be Carlo Fabri. Uh, we were friends for many times, for a long uh, time period of time and uh, I am very happy to have also with us uh, Bronte Holt from Bel Melbourne, Australia. Hello Bronte and uh, I leave to you now the possibility of managing this session but uh, first of all I would like to connect with uh, the first live room that will be uh, Hong Kong. Uh, so the case we have today is a 61-year-old gentleman. He presented with an incidental finding of an ampullary lesion since two years ago. Follow-up endoscopy showed increasing in size of the lesion. Dudinoscope performed one year ago showed a 2cm ampullary lesion. Biopsy showed tubulovillus adenoma. And the endoscopic ultrasound showed a 1.7 cm ampullary mass, uh, limiting to the mucosal layer and also without any intraductal extension. Common bowel duct and pancreatic duct were not dilated. And this is uh, the endoscopic picture taken during the dudinoscope one year ago. So today we are going to perform endoscopic ampullectomy and insertion of a biodegradable pancreatic duct stent. So this is the uh, fast uh, degrading uh, Archimedes stent um, and it should degrade uh, in around uh, one to two weeks time. So the good thing is um, uh, we don't need to have the patient come back for a second removal uh, for this procedure. <laughs> 